Hey there everyone, Lord Fidget here with another episode of AR Mock Battles. Today we are back in Astra Season. Interestingly enough, nobody actually asked to be deferred to a later date, or rather deferred until further notice. So we are going to be proceeding with the queue as it, uh, as it was. So let's go ahead and get into these battles. The first map for today belongs to Poro. Let's go ahead and take a look at the setup. We have, all right, a bit of a T formation. We have Sonia with Fury, Speed Resruse, Resploy, Quicken Pulse, Dark Excalibur, Rally Defense, and Glacies. So given that, I am very much expecting Ground Orders, Mirabilis, Infantry Pulse, Azura. That would allow for stuff like if you try to bait Ursula and she jumps out, rallies, hits you with the Ruse, strengthens the blue Crow Tome. Mirabilis comes out for the Refresh, Strengthens the blue chrome tome further by providing an attack penalty, and now both Sonia and Ursula are active, able to attack your unit. Mirabilis, oh wow, she has ground orders, who would have thought? Fort Defrez, Wings of Mercy, ground orders, aerobatics, Lara V, Simsical Dream, Iceberg, Duma with Defrez solo, Bold Fighter, Upheaval, Sturdy Blow, Fell Breath, No Assist, and Draconic Aura. Azura with Fury, Wings of Mercy, Infantry Pulse, Surprise, Surprise, Chill Res, Wagasa, Sing, Moonbow. Okay, so a bit of a double, uh, double chill bit going on there. That's pretty neat. Ursula with Death Blow Force, Low Speed Res, Ward Cavalry, Death Blow Blue Crow Tome, Drawback and Glimmer, and finally Nana with Attack Speed Solo, Wrathful Staff, Hone Cavalry, Speed Res Solo, Palm Staff Restore, and Miracle. Okay, so there are. Uh, I wonder if I could even use Claude for this battle. Since he has Flame to provide mitigations, he might actually be able to survive a Glacies from Sonia. And of course, uh, unlike unlike some other tanks, where where even a mitigated Glacies hit would still be pretty strong, if they can't heal up very quickly, then they're still doomed. Claude does heal up very quickly uh, with his <laughs> straight-up half HP heal. Uh, I'd put him here to avoid the ruse, which you couldn't do with a non-flyer because, duh, water tile. Another option would be maybe use Merida team and isolate something. <laughs> Probably the Sonya, just because I don't want to deal with the ruse. Uh, and then, I mean, it's, it'd be totally fine if she... Oh, but she wouldn't, because you have no assist. Huh. Interesting. Just thinking about how it plays out. Oh, there's an infantry school here, though. That's... Well, I mean... I could, if I could put her here with no problem, probably. I mean, Nana doesn't kill her. Um, hmm. Oh, I have an infantry school this week. Which actually means that she's going to go off to restore Azura in the corner. Which would actually... If she does that first, that would also disrupt the rally because Sonya would warp out if, and rally from here instead if Nana's not there to uh, block up that space. I don't actually know which, between rally and restore, which is prioritized. I do believe they do have different prioritization orders. Um, I would suspect rally is prioritized, otherwise you could ruin the trap by simply penalizing Ursula. Then Mirabilis' refresh doesn't go to Sonya, it goes to Nana. Let's just operate under that assumption, because it's more threatening if Sonya gets refreshed. What is this? <laughs> you have... Okay, you get a plus 5 buff from uh, Whimsical Dream, so 59. 59 plus... You're going to have 40 res with an 80% multiplier from the Glacies. That comes out to 8 times 4 of 32. Uh, plus... 10 from Dark Excalibur, so 42 plus 59, that's, what is that, that's 101, 101, 101 damage versus Claude's res stat of 31, 34, 34 is the most I can get on him, that is with Gare Skogel, Unfort oh, actually, wait, I could maybe achieve 37 if I get Plumeria, here, that would provide the uh, Flower of Plenty bonus to, actually it's more this area. I, I don't know why I'm just drawing this box here. Uh, 
it would also extend one one box one row below if if that <laughs> if that row existed. Um, hmm, thirty four minus one hundred one is what? It's ninety five, sixty five, sixty five. I think he actually. No, he doesn't have 65. He has 59 with Triple Mythic, but that's definitely, I mean, 18. Yeah? Wait, hold on. I'm trying to trying to think of what that is mitigation-wise. Okay, it's, it, he, he lives, <laughs> basically. Uh, hmm. Oh, no, 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 it's not 18. It's, it's uh, I, I, I multiplied the wrong numbers. My mistake, it's 30% mitigation. Oh, wait, no. Oh, that is 18, isn't it? Okay, that's what I get for not using a calculator for this. Okay, hold on. Uh, so I think I can do this. I just need to get Claude here. Ideally turn... Well, if he can handle this thing, I might as well let him do a turn one, huh? Uh, but how do I do it? There's a thingamajigger in the way. Um, hmm. <laughs> if I do... I could do... This... Yes. I just did that with my finger, so you probably didn't understand at all what I, what I was, what I was doing. <laughs> Sorry about that. But it was... It was, uh, this. So... I maybe should have switched you two before, before I went and ended that. Oh well, yeah. let's do this. That Where's way I can get chest? Regan into the fight if I need to. So, oh, Doom is up, people. Forgot about that. Uh, okay, so it looks like the rally was prioritized before whew, before the uh, restore. That was a little closer on the Ursula matchup than I was expecting. I probably should have <laughs> calculated that. Oh well. I uh, can't really do much of anything from this position. Maybe I could do... Well, Let's hear it. Yeah, I mean, you can't double Duma, though, is the issue. He's I mean, I have a fight. healer, so that's nice. At the ready. How, how short are you? Uh, quite. Okay, so maybe not. Um, I'm thinking I could maybe try break here. this Kanto away reposition the plumeria in refresh take out the mirabilis actually that works out really nicely with uh well no it doesn't because then reagan's just here because she's used her canto on the thingamajigger blah <laughs> um not i can't kill quad can she i don't think i mean she'd attack if because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about sequences here because they have the infantry school still affecting Azura. Nan is going to go for the restore, refresh, and Azura is going to refresh her. So, what is that? That's 53 speed? 49? Okay, no, that's not a kill. So, I just need to figure out if I do this, then that, this, and then uh... That and With then this and here? then that and then question mark. <laughs> I don't think it matters if I. I don't think I need to do anything with, with Lucina here. So I'll just let her do. Let her just sit there. She just can't KO claws. She should. She should uh, restore. Oh, Duma got penalized by something. Oh, it would have been uh, Sweet Dreams. Cool. So, same deal here. She's going to see that she can't KO Claude, so she's going to go back up to restore the Azura. Uh, unless I can maybe stop her from doing that? Can I do that? Can, can I? I actually have no idea. Um, you have if I do trust. this... And then uh, I need some some way I could refresh. Yes, that's what I do. Do this. Or, I mean, I could even just refresh him now. But what I had in mind was... Um, I'll, I'll do it. 
Refresh. Res rescue. Smite. Circumvents the trap, which is real. And then Altina just does the job instead. Consider it done. So, I've, I mean, either worked. Uh, but obviously the method I employed was, was, uh, did not depend on that bolt trap. Over here? So I can move you, and then this one was, you this one was real, so this one is fake. I can actually let Claw just do that. So that was a pretty cool map. Um, obviously the, the weakness I exploited was not a, a particularly common one. <laughs> At least I don't think so. Uh, unless, unless there's a, unless F Flame Claude is a, is a common combo now. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for sharing, and let's go ahead and move on to map number two. The second map is the Astra Anima setup for Frozen Helm. I faced their light dark setup previously. Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, this is approximately the same as last time. Yeah, I see some structures have moved to prevent that case where Veronica gets stuck in the corner. Under most circumstances, I would say don't bother facing it again. Eh, you know what? I'll just do it. Why not? Uh, although, I wonder, doesn't Brunia Maka kind of stomp this? Let me see. Let me think. Uh, it kind of depends on whether or not she doubles a net. She might? This is the new setup here. I actually actually gave her Mystic Boost, switched out Swift Stance. I just wanted to see how, how it worked because I was tired of Soul being slow to activate. And I guess I could use Noon Time, but I don't know. I, I feel like it's, it's, a, it's a weird, it's a strange conundrum. <laughs> Like, do we go, do we go soul for, like, actual, actual good healing? Because her defenses, they don't, they don't really, they're not really meant for small healing. Hmm. In my opinion. And then, of course, the Mystic Boost post-combat heal helps. So you have what? Do you get penalized? I feel like you do. Yeah, you probably do. Okay, why did, I don't know why I tapped the Panic Manor. There's no way she gets affected by that. Um, 50... 60 speed, yeah, I know. Okay, and then I'm pretty sure with the Dominance Effect, she is able to s delete Annette and Wallheart, leaving her to enemy phase. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, there might be a little bit of, there might, there might be some interesting things going on here. Kind of depends. I don't see the team losing more than one unit, though. And it all very much depends on who refreshes Veronica first. Um, there is a t there's a there's a tie break that is distance from enemy. I think it's the furthest one, so I guess it would be Leanne probably. In if that's if that's true, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Because what I'm thinking is Brunia here, smite her up. Actually, Regan's the smiter, so she can just canto away. And then Brunia, and then Plumeria, and then Micaiah can uh, reposition Plumeria. And, uh... Actually, I could even have Altina reposition out here. Which, mean, which means that the two units who are kind of in danger of getting uh, hit by Veronica post-attack post are the two that have good res and mystic boost. <laughs> All right, let's try this. So, Team Brunia, let's go. You can do it, I think. Uh, I want to do this, and then maybe have Naga here, and then... Oh, I have two Primarias on this team. Hello. Okay, cool. Well, that's interesting. Um, that, As then say, that, and then that. Close your I think eyes. I needed a Plumeria to be, like, here. That's fine. Um, and I guess I can just leave you here, huh? I'd prefer to have, uh, I think I, I, I should have set that up a little better by, um, having, having both Plumeria's kind of over here, which makes it easier to pick up this guy. Bruni can pick up this guy pretty easily from this location. Uh, let's I see. Don't I don't suppose you can actually 
Not that KO right now. No, okay, I didn't think so. So that's what we have Micaiah's uh, duo skill for. Thank you, Dominance. I wonder if that's going to be... Nope, not, not a 1H KO. But it is quite powerful. So I can actually do this. I don't know why I thought Altina was on this team, because she's not. <laughs> uh, it's Naga, which is still totally fine, because I can just do this. Okay, cool. I'm going to call that good. Uh, yeah, we'll do this, and then let's take a look. I think Veronica attacks first, because she doesn't die a horrible, painful death. We will see. Yeah, Leanne goes for the refresh. That is uh, kind of what I was expecting. And poor Naga takes savage blow damage. Oh no, my Brunia's trapped. Forgot about that part. Uh, so she can't actually get the uh, thingy majigger. Leanne's going to transform. I Let's see, how am I going to deal with this? Because you die pretty easily to Micaiah, right? Um, do you kill Micaiah? Do you, I mean, you double Micaiah. That's why, why am I even asking if Leanne can double Micaiah? That's such a foolish thing to... <laughs> okay, 50, though. No, I don't think you do, actually. I think you eyes. fall just why slightly not? short. Unfortunate together. for you. Um, hmm. Then I can do this. Actually, I can just do this, huh? Double smite. And Close then refresh. Eyes. I can probably even... Certainly. Yeah, KO you. That's what I thought. And then move you here. That forces Nini into advance to attack, which cuts off the space above the healing tower. Although I guess it doesn't really matter because it's now six on one, and now Makai can take this, and Bruno should be able to do that. Not from the bolt trap space, please. <laughs> okay, so that was pretty straightforward. Um, I guess not a whole lot to to add to my to my comments from the last time I faced it. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for volunteering, and let's go ahead and move on to map number three. The third map for today is going to be the Astro Anima setup from Hello There. Let's go ahead and take a look at the map. We have, oh, I've seen this before. This is a Ground Orders Rally Trap setup with, you. Uh, okay, you interestingly don't have uh, armored boots. I would kind of expect that. But the Ground Orders makes uh, Zane threatening out here to this diagonal. I guess one big thing this map does, this type of map does well is to, wait, why don't you have armored boots? Uh, shouldn't you? That's how, that's how these traps usually work. Uh, if the armor can target out to here, then they get a rally jumper. But it's, oh well, I guess if he's threatened, then they'd still rally. So that, I guess maybe not. Uh, question number two, is this actually threatening without Hector being able to attack? I mean, regardless, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go full circle back to the approach I used for the very first battle for this matchup and just break this and say hello to Yulgur, Sigurd, and Zane, have them all suicide into Claude, and then Flane has Dazzling Staff, so Hector's not an issue. I mean, even if she didn't have Dazzling Staff, I wonder, can Claude actually break through, break through that, um... I mean, because cause I have Flame for Mitigation, and he heals, because Hector doesn't stop his slow as special charge. That'll be interesting. That'll be interesting to see. I know, we can, I know he can beat Legendary Kroms. Let's try this. Alright, so I'm going to do basically the same thing. Except this time I'm going to actually have Regan here. Uh, break. Of course. Just do this. Do I break this? break or not to break that is the question whether it is nobler blah 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 i don't actually know how it goes beyond that so it's a bit of a moot point anyway um hmm okay so let's take a look here so ilgar shouldn't rally so she can deal at least oh she's yeah they're all dead <laughs> um somebody who definitely dies attacking first is a sure sign that everyone dies so that's pretty interesting uh duma went that away that's Fine, I can actually take advantage of that. 
Huh, that's funny. Not really, but that, <laughs> that's funny. Um, one, two, Let's hear it. three. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Three, something afoot. four. Uh, say goodbye yes, to your stats, eyes. Hector. Understood. And five. Of course. I can do that. That's fine. But Heck, I could even do this. So, come at me. Show me what you've got. Well, Hector's dead. <laughs> Literally the same thing as I said last time. With the words once a good attack first, it was a sure sign that they were all dead. Yeah. Uh, poor Hector. Uh, okay. And then Duma goes down as well. So, pretty straightforward, clear there. Um, I think that's a that's a fairly fairly common setup. I don't I don't think I really need to comment a whole lot on it. I guess structurally well i suppose this is a pretty easy structural weakness whether you have to fly or not because if you break this then you bait zane and sigurd for free and you could even not have to worry about the panic manner because most people with uh, most people that you actually have to worry about will have a plumeria to break this and then just reposition out to safety so, uh, I don't know. Structural weakness. I think... What is the solution to that? I, I swear this isn't usually a structural weakness for this setup. I think it's because the ranged unit usually is here. Instead of here. Or, or maybe there's... I, I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I've, I haven't seen this setup in quite some time, but... I think that's how they usually go. And then, of course, the three move dancer makes it possible as well. Anyway, thank you very much for sharing, and that is actually the last map for this batch. And that is it. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of AR Mock Battles. I would like to once again extend a huge thank you to today's volunteers. You are all amazing. Next week is light season, and uh, actually, the light dark queue is empty. So, um,. Uh, I did actually say two weeks ago that the Light Dark Hue was empty and I'm not going to do an, an AR Moth Battles video next week, but then I just decided, hey, let's overhaul the mode, yeah! And, uh, well, I ended up doing two Moth Battle videos instead of, instead of zero, so that was, that was an experience. So next week I will definitely not be doing an AR Moth Battles video, again, mostly because the queue is empty and partially because I wouldn't mind having that, having, having a break. So, I will see you all again in two weeks' time with another Astra Season episode of AR Mock Battles. So, until then, thank you all very much for watching, and I will catch you next time.